Hi guys, we are here at Concord with uh, the West Tigers core conditioning trainer, um, Kelly Bean. When I turned up, I didn't really have to worry about them having a strong core. Of course they do. I mean, look at the job they do. And, sure. and Okay, so when they get tired, when they get fatigued, that's when injuries are going to happen and because of poor posture, mm -hmm. things like that. So what we're trying to do today is uh, use that core in movements, in static positions, and then with a bit of speed. Excellent. Okay, so and then we're going to add load as well. Excellent. So. Okay, the core is actually the part of the body that doesn't move the skeleton. Okay, so it keeps you strong and it keeps you tall. And, uh, people think the rectus abdominis, that, that beautiful six pack muscle, is what the core is, and it's not. That's the one that gets you moving like this. That still has to be strong, especially for the footballers. But the core, as far as we're working here, is the, um, the muscles from the back, which draw in the side and the front all the way down here and the shoulder girdle. So the hip girdle and the shoulder girdle are included in it. And uh, that's what we're working, trying to keep stability and then mobilising. Right. How's the call session, mate? It's tough, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. trained twice yesterday, it's probably good that you're doing this, eh? Yeah, I think most of these guys did too. Yeah. So our goal is for the guys to be stronger because they do a lot of pushing and a lot of pulling and they've got to be able to, not just bench press, because they can bench press, they're in there bench pressing 150 kilos, you know. But just doing that, there's no bench press on the field, okay? They've got to be able to use their core to pull someone or to push someone. Can you feel though that it's working your core or at least forcing you to use your core while you lift a weight and while you're moving? Okay, because uh, you're not on your back dropping your knee out to the side on the football field. Right, so we're trying to make it a little bit more football specific, adding the weights in and forcing you to use the core. If you can find a weakness in your athlete, you're finding potential in your athlete. And if they're prepared to work on that weakness, that could be what is holding them back from being great, you know, or not being injured. So if we can keep the same team on the field for the whole season, and they play together that whole season and get to know each other the whole season, can you imagine how well we're going to play in the finals compared to getting injured and throwing a new player in? Okay, so that injury prevention, and that's part of what core conditioning is about.